everyone welcome back to my channel let's dig into makeup today a very simple makeup that gives your cheeks and eyes a more lifted and more youthful look so if you're interested please keep watching make sure you wash your face well and follow your daily skin routine with serum and moisturizers to hydrate your skin before makeup to start with i'm using a gel primer from milk cosmetics this is a wonderful product that will help my makeup stay longer Massage it all over your face well just like you would use your moisturizer and give it about a minute to soak in really well. Using my favorite foundation CoverGirl Outlast Extreme Wear in Warm Beige 845, I have dry and sensitive skin and it's just a lovely full coverage foundation. Even if your skin is acne prone, it won't emphasize any textures and will glide on like a dream. It's an affordable drugstore product that is similar to the high-end Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, but in my opinion, it's even better. A little goes a long way with it, so start with one pump and then make sure you stretch the foundation well. Now using the NYX Cosmetic Radiant Concealer, I apply it to my under eyes, the bridge of my nose, in between my eyebrows, my smile lines of course, a little bit on my chin. And then I dampen the beauty blender with a setting spray and then dab it ever so slightly. Don't use too much of pressure and distribute your product. So basically what I'm trying to do here is brighten my face that is a T-zone area. And then what's left on my blender, I go on my eyelids as a base for my eyeshadow. Now I'm using the CoverGirl Translucent Setting Powder to set my concealer. Swirl your brush into the product, dab the excess out and go over the places you applied your concealer. This sets your concealer in place and prevents creasing. Okay, now I'm actually using the NYX concealer but in a darker shade to contour my face. I feel my cheekbones and then sketch a line from my hairline inwards towards my face, towards the center of my face, just like so. And then from my hairline, close to my hairline, and then my nose, so that they look a little bit thinner than what they are. And then of course my jawline as well. And then all you need is to dab the product upwards so that it melts into your skin and into your hairline as well as your jawline. By doing this, we are adding definition or dimension back into our face which we lost while applying our foundation. Foundation makes our face flat and kills the natural shadows of our face. Contouring helps us replicate the shadow back into our faces. Okay, now going in with my bronzer from Marcel in Amazon Heat, I dust off the excess and apply it right where I applied my contour. We are doing this step to set our contour in place just like we did for our concealer. Setting the concealer with setting powder before and here setting the contour with bronzer. For the eyes, I'm using the Nude Stick Eyeshadow Pencil in Spirit which is a sort of a purpley silver color. Now before that, I just go in with my clean finger and make sure there is no crease concealer and then I apply it all over my mobile lid and blend it out with my fingers. Now with the eyeshadow blender brush, I like to dip back into the bronzer and just go on my crease and outer corners just to marry the colors together and give depth to the eyes. Going back with my concealer, I clean up around the eyes and create a sharper lifted eye. Now to further enhance the lifted look, I take my deeper concealer or you can take your cream contour, make a line right above where you touched with your concealer and then blend it upwards towards your eyebrows. And instantly just like that you can see the difference. 
it just lifts your cheekbones at an upward angle giving you more youthful and a fresh look. You can see how well defined your face looks with the contouring going on at the eyes, cheekbones and jawline, making your face look slightly slimmer. Using the 24-hour clear gel brow setter from Benefit, I set my brows in place. This gel does a fabulous job of feathering them out and the hair stays in place the whole day. Now using the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Gel Eyeliner in black, I simply line my eyes and using the eye definer brush, I smudge it out to create a subtle eyeliner. Using the blush called Seduce Me from Jouer Cosmetics, I pop it on my cheeks, my nose, temples and chin. From Milani, I'm using the highlighter in strobe light to highlight the highest points of my face to add in that glow. Using the setting spray from MAC to set my makeup. And now comes the outfit of the day. I'm wearing a chunky sweater from H&M. I totally love this. With this lilac wide leg jeans from Zara. And my grey boots are from H&M as well. And this is how my makeup looks in sunlight and natural light. So this is it my friends, hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up, also subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram and love to see you guys there. See you guys next week, until then take care, I love you all, bye bye.